So you guys, we are back today with another haul. I just come from the dollar store, you guys. Got my green tea. You guys, I'm going to get right into our haul today because I'm excited for too many reasons. Oh! <laughs> So, as you guys can tell by the title, I went to the um, dollar store. I'm putting on Purell because I'm eating a snack with you guys right away. I have two um, snacks I want to try with you. One, everybody has always had. I'm pretty sure everybody, a lot of people has had it. Purell, you guys. Got to get my hands clean. One of the snacks, um, yes, I think a lot of people have had um, in their life, hopefully. And then the other one um, is something I want to try with you guys. And um, I'm not sure if some of you had it or not. So we're going to get into this haul. And um, it's exciting. I spent almost $100. I'll um, shut off the car, I guess. I spent almost $100 in this haul. And I just want to share all the items with you guys because there's some really cool finds. So if you guys have a sweet tooth, this would be something that you'll probably jump for and grab first. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, these are the marshmallow cones. They were $2 at the dollar store. So there's pink, yellow, and there's white cones in there. I think that's the only three colors. Anyway, we're going to open it. Paid $2. We're going to open it up and taste them. Like, we don't know what they taste like. Hello. This is what they look like inside, you guys. Pink, yellow, white. Ah, the smell of sweet, smell of sugar. I just love it. <laughs> Pink is so pretty. So cute. Mmm. Mmm. Marshmallow. I haven't had marshmallow, I think, in such a long time. Mmm. This is not a mukbang. This is just like a, a random taste test with you guys. Mmm. So good. So nostalgic. I grew up eating these. <laughs> Whenever I could get my hands on them, I was eating them. Gosh. The cone today tastes like fried chicken. Got a little, no, it got a coney smell to it, like a cone would smell. But it tastes like fried chicken. Does that mean we're going to eat chicken today? Never know. Mmm. So good. I'm sorry for my excitement. I'm allowed to be excited. I'm so, it's so good. I'm so good. It's so good. What can you say? Mmm. So the other item I wanted to try with you guys is, um, freeze dried strawberries. Strawberries, you guys. $1.25. So they're by Fruit Tropic. Freeze dried strawberries. A delicious way to snack. And if these are good, I'm thinking I'll have like six to eight packs on hand at the house all the time. Yeah, I will. Because I can. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I was expect. Oh, they smell good too. Um, I was expecting really, really tiny, tiny, tiny pieces of strawberries. But this is like whole strawberries, you guys. They're small, I guess. But they're still a whole strawberry. So, that's what it looks like. Yeah. They got the green, the stem taken off. How sweet. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh my gosh. You know what? So good. So good. You know what this reminds me of? I'll tell you what this reminds me of. Special K used to have Special K cereal with freeze dried strawberries in them. Like, I don't know how many, maybe they still have them on the market now. I don't know. Um, but I used to buy them intentionally, of course. I don't know how long ago. Maybe five, six, seven years ago, something like that. Feels like it, feels like it's that long. But, um, they had the freeze-dried strawberries in them, and when the milk would hit it, they would start to, like, come back to their shape. And they were good. The cereal was good. Mmm. Mmm. Do 
there's like maybe 15 pieces in there. That's not too bad. Oh, I'm going to be buying lots more of those. So good. That's my two snacks I wanted to try with you guys. Now we can get into the haul. I'm so excited. This is a cool haul today. Because spring is in the air. <laughs> I will try so hard to not have this video go out when it's summertime. I'll try to have it go out when it's spring because it's spring now. It's come, we're getting ready to go into spring. So there's no random order. It's just however it was packed. Um, the very first thing I want to show you guys is um, a little wall hanging. $4. Can you see it? I hope you can see it there. $4. All you need is love, baby. And if you don't have love in your life, I'm so sorry. But love will come to you when you put out love. Um, all you need is love. I really, really thought that that was a beautiful little sign. They have some other kinds there. So this is the one that caught my attention. And um, can't wait to hang it up. Went through all the different aisles, you guys. Got to the kitchen aisle. And sometimes, you know, you go through a certain aisle and something just really, really grabs your attention. Well, this here grabbed my attention. Serving boards. Two glass serving boards. I have this one. I just adore this one. I adore both, actually. But this one is this one really, really caught my eye. They had like just regular lemons on a spoon or lemons on a cutting board on a picture on a board. They had like um, a spoon each with like strawberries, blueberries, and different berries. But this one really, really caught my attention. It's the Rama Design glass serving board, three dollars. I got this one. With comes with the picks. Um. Bamboo sticks, 12 bamboo sticks. So it's good for like cheese or meat and cheese or veggie platter or whatever you want to throw on there. And this is another um, same brand, same price, $3 with the bamboo sticks um, with the herbs. I really, really like this, you guys. Sage, basil, thyme. Yeah, this is really, really cool. I love this. These two boards, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Mama Bear loves them. Yes. Aren't they gorgeous? Of course they are. So for many of us ladies, we, um, you know, have to keep our legs and underarms and different areas of our body all, um, you know, up to code for our partners, you know, and uh, for ourselves and our partners. And I thought I would definitely go with this neat and easy um, ready-to-use hair removal wax strips with aloe and vitamin E. Um, not sure what the price was on this one. Uh, wax strips. Three dollars. Yep, they were three dollars. Um, 24 wax strips and three moisturizing finishing wipes. So I thought I would give them a try. I never really tried these before. thought I would give them a try. I got the Ivy and Castle Hand Cream Collection, English Lavender, and French Vanilla. So, like I said, I want to get into um, more lavender in our home and um, just, you know, smell a lavender off your hands, especially if you're dry in the winter or whatever. Um, yeah, I thought I would give this a go. What was the price on this? Hand Cream, $3 for two. That's not too bad. So, I'm not sure what Ivy and Castle, the brand, the I'm not sure what the company is like for the products, but um, I think I'll give them a try. I think I used Ivy and Castle when I was a kid. Maybe something was gifted to me sometime as a kid. Um, but you don't know what that was like way back when you were a child, and I'm talking way back. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm excited to give the hand creams a try. So next you guys, I came across these um, nails. I seen a beautiful lady not long ago on YouTube um, had them on in one of her hauls and she made it through her whole haul, a dollar store haul with the nails on and she didn't mention that she had any interruptions or anything with the nails. So I thought to myself, um, I had my nails on before you guys, like um, gel nails and I'm thinking about going and getting them on now again. I really am thinking about it, and I may do it soon. I thought I would just give these a try and see how well they work out. So, of course, I got the French manicure, and I got the um, dream, well, they're both dream nails, but this one here is the French nails, French chips, and this is the decorated French nails. 
They were $1.25 each. Exciting! Gonna try them! So in the same aisle, you guys, I came across a cross. So in the same aisle, you guys, I came across the look. Lux uh, Beauty Care Cucumber Cleansing Class. I have to say, I stick to um, Olay, Oil of Olay, um, Olay products. That's generally what I use. But I thought I might um, go out on a limb and try um, the uh, Cucumber Cleansing Class. And when I open it inside, because I always open stuff, you guys, to make sure stuff is sealed, not open, because if it's open, I ain't buying it. Um, so when I open it, I to my surprise here, it just says the thickest wipe you will probably ever use is inside. If you love it, brag about it by using their hashtag. Um, so anyway, I'm not sure what this product is like, the looks, whatever, but um, I thought I'd give it a try because it was four bucks. That's pretty cheap. The Olay wipes that I use every single time I buy them, which I believe is just like half the pack. I feel like it's like half the pack. Um, my wipes are like almost $10 every time I buy them. Now I don't go through a lot, but, um, because what I do is I take off my makeup and then I get in the shower and then I wash with another Olay cleansing wash on my face. Um, but I thought I would give these a try because four bucks, number one, is cheap. Number two, cucumber is so soothing, so cooling, and I just thought I would, um, try them and see how they work. So I'm excited to try these, you guys. So back over in the kitchen area, you guys, the kit, one of the kitchen aisles, um, I came across this little tiny um, storage container, $1.25, and I thought Daryl would really like this. And I'm nervous, you guys, because when you see something good at the dollar store, you should grab how many, whatever you want, like right away, because you're really not, they're not even, they don't even know what's coming in at the dollar store. So, um... I kind of wanted to get like six or eight of these just because I feel like we're going to use them somehow. But the cover comes off. They're tiny and cute and compact. They're stackable. And um, they snap. The lid snaps back on. Come on. Yep. Snaps back on, of course. And um, you can stack them, eh? Like six or eight or ten or twenty or two hundred if you want, I guess. But they were $1.25. And I only got one, a blue. Um, Daryl and I both like blue. My favorite color is purple, as I've mentioned, I think, to you guys in a prior um, video. But um, I see all they had there was blue. I think it was blue or another color. I think it was red or black. I'm not sure. But I really like the blue, the color of the blue, the shade. Um, so I only got one now. I hope I don't regret this because I feel like we're going to need like six or eight. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet, but I know we're going to use it for something and it's going to work well. So for $1.25, you can't go wrong. So cute, especially where she snaps on. You know, like the, the lid is on securely. I like that a lot. So next, you guys, I never seen this color of a lid on these containers and I just love this. I'm so excited. So we have the Rubbermaid take-alongs and we have the two packages this is like the rectangular one but the blue you guys the blue like I've always seen the red covers and we have had the red covers like many times in our past but um 350 350 for each I believe yep 350 for each one each package are you serious are you serious oh okay I thought it was supposed to be four in each one. I was like, what? But on the packaging, it says three rectangular um, containers with the lids. So three bottoms, three tops. Great. For three fifty, that's not bad. Like a dollar a container, really. And you know you're going to use it over and over again. Um, and this one here is the sandwich container, I would call it. Is that what it says? Square. Well, four square containers. Yeah, of course you can fit a sandwich in there. So there's four bottoms and there's four tops, of course. But the blue, the color of the blue, you guys. I just adore this. I love it. I love it. And um, Daryl really, really likes blue. Daryl is Daryl's favorite color, you guys, is blue. My husband. And um, he's really, really going to love this. Because, like I said, we've always had the red ones in our kitchen. But now I, think, I feel like our kitchen is going to be turning into blue before we know it which is fine by me so next back in our health and beauty aisle i found the lavender and vanilla liquid hand soap two dollars and um as i told you guys moments ago i just love lavender and i want to get back into it so two bucks is not bad this brand 
uh, what is the brand? I guess New Balance. Um, I've had this, we've had this brand of soap many times in our past. I love it. Um, we never ever picked up the lavender and vanilla previously, so I thought today I would get the lavender and vanilla. It's right down in my cup holder. Isn't that cool? So today I found this um, Yardley English Lavender hand soap, and I thought I would get this one too. There's no price on it, but um, maybe it's two bucks. Let's see. Hand soap. Hand soap. No, this one was three because the other one there was two. This one was three dollars. Still not a bad price, I don't think, you guys. Um, anyway, I'm excited to try English lavender. The smell is just so beautiful. Just lovely. I cannot wait to get my hands wet and try this hand soap. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I cannot hide it. Um, today, you guys, in the seasonal aisles, I came across, um, these little watering cans. I guess it really could be used as a watering can. My intentions for it and what it is, is two different things. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm so excited. Um, so this watering can, you guys, was in the, um, seasonal section. I paid $4 for it. Um, I guess you could, yes, it's sincerely use it as a watering can, of course. But I bought this, you guys, to place in our home and put artificial flowers in there. And I can't wait to make a great big um, centerpiece out of this. I'm so, so, so excited. I have loads and loads of artificial flowers. And I'm so excited to put a whole bunch in here and put a, put this um, watering can up on display. I'm so excited. I love it. Excited. So you guys, I got this um, basket, blue basket. I need this in my life. I just can't wait to use it. I know what I'm using it for. Um, and uh, $4 for this basket. Can you see it? I hope you can. Yes. So it's just a basket and um, I'm so excited to go home and use this basket real soon excited. So you guys, the next um, items that we have are in this bag. I just had to buy this bag. I had this bag bought before and I'm not sure if the other haul is going to go up or not before this one, but um, this bag um, is a bag that I had bought before and I had too many heavy items and of course these bags cannot handle this kind of material. I don't know what material it is. It can't handle a lot of weight you guys. So you just want to put light things in this bag. But this bag I believe cost me $1.25. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. So I had to throw my other one in the garbage because the handle just ripped right off one day coming out of the dollar store. So today um, I had to get another one. As you can see from the top I have a beautiful pink sun hat. I'm so so excited to wear this to the beach real soon. Um, $3.50 I paid for this one and it's pink. They have beige. They have um, I think like a chocolate, nice light chocolate brown and um, they have different shades or whatever there you guys for hats but I, oh they have a real light pink too. This is the hot pink and they have a real light pink there and um, I went with the hot pink of course. I may go back and get the light pink too because I like the light pink a lot also. But for $3.50 you cannot go wrong. If you had to go to like Marks or somewhere else and buy a sun hat you guys, you would pay definitely like 20 bucks or more. So I um, pulled this over my head because I knew I was going to buy it um, if it fit or whatever. So um, anyway, I got this pink hat you guys. I'm so excited to go to the beach. Yay! So, um, back over in the kitchen section, you guys, I got this um, over-the-door storage basket. Um, of course, as you can see by the pictures, you can put it um, over your bathroom or kitchen um, doors under your sinks and put your, like, cleaning supplies, little bottles, whatnot, whatever, in there. And... Um, or even just like, um, I'm thinking just like, uh, red, like um, when I'm done washing the dishes, I don't like to have my cloth like out on display in my kitchen so what I'll do is I'll just dangle it inside make sure she's really rang out really good and then she can air dry again over um, the basket on the inside of the door when you shut the door and then your then your cloth is not visible and um, also your sponges too so 
Yeah, I'm gonna rearrange. I'm going to arrange. I'll put probably like an empty container inside of here, and then I can put my sponges in there, and they'll just air dry in here as well. Nobody wants to walk into your home and see your dirty, um, uh, what do you call it? Wash cloths, um, dish dish towel, dish cloths, and um, sponges and all that stuff all over your kitchen. I don't like to see it in my kitchen, so this would be the perfect thing. So Daryl and I both really love the bonsai trees, and um, if we could have the real ones, we totally would. But um, for now, these will do. Um, we have three. I have three different ones, and... Um, you got to be careful when you buy these, though, at the dollar store, you guys, because a couple of them in there today, the glue wasn't adhered to the bottom very good, and the trunk of the tree was, like, all on a 45, and, um, so anyway, this is one that is flat and level, and she's so cute, and she got the rocks, little stones all around, so I have this one. Oh my gosh, they're so cute, and I have uh, this one. So pretty, right? And each one was four dollars, you guys. That's not bad at all. So I'm so excited, so excited to display these in our home. And I have this one. So this is what I'm talking about. It's a little bit up, like um, off the stone, but that's going to be on the back side anyway to me. So I don't care because this is the front. How I'm going to display it on the front here. But uh, yeah, each one was four dollars, so I got three. Yeah. So I got this one, and I got this one the backwards to you guys sorry that one and this one and we got this one yeah see how three of them are all different yeah um, I'm thinking I may go back and get another one of this one because I think in my kitchen I'm wanting to have two of the same either on both sides of my um, stove or um, Maybe on two different countertops in my kitchen. I'm going to get two of this one, I believe. I might go back and get one more of this one. If I go back and there's none left, I really don't care. Because the Bosnia trees are so beautiful that um, we'll just display them anywhere in our home we see fit. And I know Daryl is going to absolutely love these three trees when he sees them today. So you guys, that is it for our haul today. We taste tested just a couple of... Um, little treats with you guys I did and um, I have my green tea that's why I didn't buy nothing for a drink from the dollar store today because I already had my tea in the car waiting it's gone the good thing about drinking tea especially if you're on a bunch of errands is um, the fact that like it's hot at first of course but then as you're running your errands if it turns to a cold tea well, if you like tea, hot or cold, of course you can drink it cold. I guess a lot of people maybe just throw it out. If mine goes cold, if I'm in the mood, I like to drink it cold as well. So anyway, again, that's all we have for you guys today. We really, really hope you enjoyed this um, dollar store haul. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see hauls from like Winners, Home Sense, um, maybe Giant Tiger, uh, the grocery stores... Walmart sometime let us know down below what what other hauls you'd like to see and we will be sure to do it for you so until next time you guys peace out stay beautiful stay sexy stay blessed we love every single one of you all thank you so so much for watching especially till the end of the video we appreciate every one of you guys and until next time you guys love you guys